I got the giggles. Hey everybody. I know, shocking, Emily has the giggles. Welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted name. Cinema Toast Crunch. <laughs> I loved it so much. I like it. That's a good one. Oh, I enjoy the, <laughs> the pun, but the cereal, it, it hurts my mouth. It's, what? It's, it's, it like stabs me. It's rough, man. You're eating it wrong. Nah, I got this. Uh, well, I'll tell you what we're not doing wrong is not, not watching movies. Nailed it. We are watching our way through a long list of movies that I have never seen, but Matthew has. Mm -hmm. And so, Matthew, what are we watching tonight? Uh, tonight we're going to be watching the 1987 action comedy, Beverly Hills Cop 2. Oh, shit. And you know the deal. I don't tell you anything about it. You go in whatever knowledge you have from pop culture about it, and you let everybody know what that is. So, I have seen Beverly Hills Cop 2. One. Yeah, we watched the first one. Um, and I, <laughs> I, I loved it. I love Eddie Murphy in general, so I'm assuming, yeah, he's in this one. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, I just know that it's Axel, and I'm assuming he comes back to Beverly Hills for some reason, uh, because okay. he's in Detroit, and I'm really looking forward to some. <gasps> There you go, everybody. There's your ringtone right there. Um, um, <laughs> just go with the original. Yeah, that's gonna... probably best. Um, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's about it. I'm looking forward to it. Good deal. Let's watch the movie. Let's watch. Give her a hand. Give her a hand, <laughs> y'all. Is that Brigitte Nielsen? Correct. Oh, man. I loved her before Flavor Flav. All of you eat the floor now. Eat the floor. That's mm -hmm. aggressive. Like, yeah, she's kind of intense. I mean, <laughs> it's fair enough. Be careful. Don't cut yourselves. Stay down. What are you doing, bitch? Hey, I'm sorry. Every bit of that shit's insured. I would never risk my life in <laughs> jewelry. Oh, she got a calling card. She's a bad man, but Gemma. Who are you so stylish? Hey, Ace, I would very much like you to meet Judy. She can suck a golf ball through 20 feet of garden hose. Ain't that right? American Express, blank credit cards. I need 2,000 this time. Well, 2000? if you can't handle it, I'm sorry. I thought, I guess I'll take my bag of money to somebody right, who can't handle right. it. You got the money. I got. A, I said I got a bag of money, I'm right? I got a bag of money. <laughs> you meet me at this address. Three hours. Don't have me standing around like a you, fool, I'm man. You, you messing around. with the titty woman over here. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. <laughs> Three hours. Three hours. Better tell him, dude. Three hours. Oh, them short shirts. Hello there. You have reached the home of George Kingfish Stevens. I'm sorry I'm not in now, but I've done gone down to the lodge hall. But if you like, you can leave a message at the tone and I'll get back to you at my earliest <laughs> inconvenience. <laughs> Now look, I'm into something kind of important here. I'll fill you in as soon as I get it straight myself. <laughs> Bye, Axel. I'll call you in a week. Oh no. Is he gonna die? Mm -hmm. LA Times got a letter just like that about two hours ago. He knows that, Billy. But we didn't, Taggart, okay? As of this moment, you are suspended. What? Shut up! I'm fighting you on this, Harold. Chief Lutz to you. More like Chief Putz. <laughs> yeah. Clever, I know. 
Hi. Hi, Trouble? Yeah. What do you make of this, Andrew? Calling me a cop? You definitely a cop. He ain't no cop. He's my nephew. Well, the dude is definitely bad luck. I don't know what he is. You, he's bad luck to me. I'm checking you for a wire, man. Fuck. You ain't no yeah, cop. Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, why can't I check you if he ain't a cop? Oh, 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 if he ain't wired, why can't I? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't see why he work. <laughs> I know when I can smell a pig inside the room. I used to be a Muslim man, and I know that talk <laughs> over here. And then, yes, talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Like Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Commit to the bit. <laughs> I can trust you. Yeah. And you're my friend. Yes. And we're undercover. Yes. And you understand this? No. Good. Okay. <laughs> Please, <laughs> honest. <laughs> Inspector T, how you doing? Where the fuck you been, Foley? Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> Where the bad guys at the end of this rainbow? Wait a second. Look, I just thought that there was a problem. Don't think, Axel. It makes my dick itch. <laughs> They got a green for that. Who are you? Stop working! I'm Axel Foley, the Beverly Hills building investigator. Didn't they tell you I was coming? No. They didn't? No. But give me the goddamn yeah. plan. The Andersons, before they went up to Hawaii, they changed the plan. Oh. There's not supposed to be any right angles on this building. <laughs> <laughs> no right angles, this thing's round as a donut. What are you, a fucking art critic? No. They got the money, want to live in a donut? Let them live inside a donut. You know, people get money and lose their mind. So people say, I want to live in a round house. You're you got right. the money for it? You're right. <laughs> Okay, I just Maybe did what they showed me. Well, you, you know, did the yeah. right thing, but whoever gave you this, an asshole. Son of a. So stop. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> oh, shit. Put this stuff away. Who's this? I got it. I got it. All right, showtime. What the hell's going on here? Who the hell are you? Uh, my name is Johnny Wish Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone, and I'm a psychic from the Isle of St. Croix. Um, your name is, um, Lutz, right? And your name is, um, um... Riddle? Yes, see? <laughs> I used to give two more seconds, I would've said it myself. I would've said it myself! <laughs> Miss Cleo's cousin. <laughs> There's a guy at the Beverly Hills Shooting Club. Uh, Russ Fielding, I think his name is. He's supposed to be the best. Well, let's go see Russ Fielding. Then. Yeah. Let's go, go see Russ Fielding. At the shooting club. Yeah. Not the gun club or the shooting range. The shooting club. What's in the bag? My vitamins. Give them to me. You want my vitamins? Yeah. You want all my vitamins? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> An hour. Okay. Enjoy good health. A lot of vitamins, my guy. Excuse me. One second. What year is this? 73. <gasps> yes, it is a 73. <laughs> oh. Do you have a Russell, Russell Fielding working here? Yes. He ordered these plutonium nitrate, multi-explosive, sound-seeking projectiles. <laughs> Sounds you can project out. I suggest you don't use the telephone. You don't sneeze. You don't cough. You don't do anything. Y'all can work this out after I go. Have a nice day. <laughs> you could do me a big favor and just drop this off at Mr. Feeling's office on your way out. I have a wife and two kids, and I'd like to see my twin daughters, Monique and Unique, again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What do you want? What's in it for me? I'm risking my life. What's in it for me? Ten dollars. <sighs> I have twin daughters with uh, pigtails. Pigtails? That's right, I'm okay. I'm just doing this for my kids. <laughs> this is the same way Bootsy got killed. This is the same. <laughs> Whoa, we almost got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> shoe money for my daughters. The shoe. Five dollars a shoe. It's four shoes. Carla Fry, assistant manager. How are you, Carla? Nice to meet you. Beautiful place you have here. My name is uh, Richard James, and it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Be right back. Take your time, Russ. What is she like? Six God, two damn, or that's a big bitch. That's a big bitch. She's pretty tall. <laughs> Take a good look at him, because you are going to kill him. Mm. take to shave those legs anyway <laughs> <laughs> she just got them lengthened they go all the way up now the king you got a match yeah, your teeth are great and jack don't screw this up jack don't screw it up i think your father got shot because he was on to something but i can't figure out what it was 
Damn. That's like a lot of dirt. Gotta be a mistake. This <laughs> car. Billy, if he's here, he must be robbing the place. <laughs> <laughs> I've stolen this house. How the fuck can you steal a house? My uncle's house. Oh, look at the big titties. <laughs> Yo, man, look at this titties, orange juice, beer. You're still a goddamn police officer, for Christ's sake. You're gonna get us all in deep shit. Ooh, I love when you talk dirty. Get your mad ass in this pool with me. <laughs> oh. You go right in, Mr. President. Go in. Right in there. Relax. I'm his representative. You know who that is there? That's former President Gerald Ford there. <laughs> Coke with no ice? Yeah, one Coke, no ice. Coming up. I'm in. No ice. That's the way to do it. <laughs> hey, that's seven bucks, buddy. Set For a Coke? I can get blown for seven dollars. Did he say get blow or get blown? I don't know. You know what? <laughs> Either way, that seems like too little to pay. <laughs> <laughs> on the house president board. <laughs> what? My name's John Taggart. Oh, that's just the name he's using now. His marriage is breaking up, and the judge has awarded her the name, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm glad Billy's got... He's having a good time, Nisko. He just keeps on giggling. Do I really look like Gerald Ford? <laughs> Y'all both look like Gerald Ford. <laughs> Shoot the tires, Axel. What the fuck is going on here? Well, that gentleman tried to kill you. What the hell are you still doing here? I checked with immigration. They never heard of a Johnny Wishful. <laughs> if I catch either one of you doing anything except traffic duty, I'm going to have the both the investigated and suspended. Technically, this is traffic duty. <laughs> Technically, you're a goddamn idiot. No. Get out of here, Taggart! With that get up and like with the light, I just really kind of expected a Rodney Dangerfield line from him. <laughs> Getting get no respect. No respect. <laughs> this is Wild Kingdom. We're trying to create a stress free environment. Oh, Billy. Well, you have. With Rambo. <laughs> Billy's really out there, isn't he, Axel? Yeah, Billy's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Y'all let Billy live his life. That's just to say. Give me the super glue. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this motherfucker over here. CSI and this shit. Damn, Billy. Jesus, Billy. Billy is prepared. Stress-free and strapped. All we have to do is match it. Could use a computer downtown. No. There's not going to be anybody there this time of night, Sarge. Oh, shit. There goes my medical insurance. <laughs> you know... You can be such a pussy sometimes. <laughs> I love that he's still wearing the Mumford shirt. What are we going to do now? Let's go to the gun club. Wait a minute. It's, it's 11 o'clock. The gun club's closed. So? So? <laughs> B&E, baby! <laughs> Actually, you're just the best, worst influence. <laughs> the ways around a lot, too. And you squeeze it between the two magnets. Looks like you've done that before. Fractured a law too when I was a kid. Half a piece. Still did. My last one. Spotted. <laughs> None for you. None for you. None. <laughs> no gum for you, grumpy Gus. Ooh. Shit. That's not good. Look at this spot right here. The hell is that? What? That knife. It's mine. Oh, On protection. Billy, Home protection. We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, is this Inspector Todd of the Detroit Police Department? I'm with the FBI Enforcement Bulletin. Read it all the time. You are, well, thank you very much, sir. Don't touch the leather, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. I love him. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> Should I? The not? actor? Yeah. Okay, I'd say you didn't care for him too much in Aliens. <laughs> well, yeah, he was an asshole in that movie. Everybody gets one. <laughs> oh. All right, goddammit, who tricked my ass? 
Ooh. Take it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just do it. Yeah, this is Todd. Inspector Todd? Yeah, that's what I said, isn't it? You have an officer working in your command by the name of Axel Foley. Yes, I do. He's under my command. I have to go now. Goodbye. What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> this is not my office. <laughs> God, could you imagine? Like, no, nope. <laughs> just being at work, yeah, and that shit happening. Just relax and trust me. Trust you, you drive worse than Maureen. No way, <laughs> dude. I haven't seen Maureen driving, but I, I think Taggart's right. <laughs> uh, if he's not, dear God, Maureen, <laughs> it's a red light, Billy. That's rain. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was red. Okay. <laughs> They're two distinctly different colors, baby. No, man, what's that for? I'm for the shootout at the club. I figured I needed more firepower. Yo, man, we gotta talk seriously. <laughs> you think you are Clint Eastwood? Dirty Rosewood? Dirty Rosewood. Dirty Rosewood. One thirty. They got a conveyor belt. Professionals. I mean, damn. <laughs> Hey, tell your alarm you gotta break it! I need authorization. Show him the gun! <laughs> On the ride! <laughs> hey, Rosewood, get some wheels. What? <laughs> oh, God. Here I go again. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> you just hit a squad car! I know, I know, it's okay, I know the guy! He's a jerk! Oh. <laughs> oh no. Is Beverly Hills Cop 3 all about getting Billy out of trouble? Uh, we'll talk I about feel that. like. Talk about that later. <laughs> he's going down a. Going down a dark path. He's going down a doozy of a path. Sarge? You old bloodhound? Billy, isn't this, uh. Yeah. No! <laughs> Still on the damn track? Yo, 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 what the fuck is up, man? <gasps> I get $10 for cars, I get $20 for limos. What the hell is this? <laughs> My truck. It's a truck. Jesus Christ. So this is directed by Tony Scott, who also directed Top Gun. Mm-hmm. Volleyball. His volleyball scene in this one's much better than the one in Top Gun. <laughs> well, you guys should look at your guest list a little bit more carefully, because Max ain't supposed to be in here. You know why? Are we having a problem here? Hef! <laughs> you have <Hefner! laughs> This is Thermopolis. He's into guns and drugs. You have to. And this is Max. And Max kills cops for a living. Ain't that just the way? Every time, Max. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I understand. Wait, some, somebody won't wait. Yeah, well, oh, 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 come right in. Don't let the fact that my door's closed <laughs> dissuade you in any way from entering my office. That's Gilbert Godfrey. Yep, you got it. <laughs> that's my wife's car. That's not my car. That's my, 25 yeah, unpaid parking I mean, tickets. it's under my name, but it's my wife's car. No, 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 bitch! <laughs> Uh. If we don't step on, I think he's out of here. Well, Y'all gotta get a stronger magnet. <laughs> the thing is just all over the place. I love racehorse names. And here comes a little bastard coming around <laughs> the outside corner. I don't know what they actually mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Oh. She look, she look real hot in a mask. <laughs> Goodbye, 
Time is decaying. You're as cold as ice. <laughs> How'd you change FS? Damn, Lady Gaga. The lady of many talents. Uh -huh. The result is now official. The winner, Johnny Dilemma. Johnny's Dilemma. See? It's just a great name. Oh, Lord, Billy. Oh, this some bitch got a trench coat. I've been wanting to wear this for a while, Sarge. <laughs> what are you, nuts? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Billy, we gotta talk. <laughs> You like rap music? Yeah, I like rap music. You like rap music? Do a rap together. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. <laughs> Say, ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Here, Billy. What? You don't have one of these, do you? Oh, no. Don't <laughs> tempt the boy. Billy? Billy? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just joking, Billy. Yeah. Oh no, Billy, Billy. Can never have too much firepower. Pull the connecting wire. And you're thinking it's still intact. Billy, you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. Trust me. Oh no. No, oh, Billy, no. Pull <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. pin. Billy, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Pull open it. Wow. <laughs> Release safety. It's important to read the instructions. It is very important. Right. Aim through there. Push this. Push this. <laughs> Bailey. Fuck Rambo. All right. <laughs> Woo. Get right there. They gave him the old shootout pew. pew. Really, stop! He's got the blood lust. It seems! But you threw a psych eval, babe. <laughs> Damn! Headshot. <laughs> Headshot. Boom. I'll tell you. Axel really knows how to make a dent. Okay. <laughs> oh, horses in the background. Goodbye, Mr. Foley. The horses shot her. <laughs> yeah, tiger. Women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You and Billy need a psych evaluation. <laughs> Women, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> you just killed somebody! You're on your ass! I think they know that, Billy. <laughs> Drop your weapons! Put okay. your hands on your ass! I already have. Already are. But if you'd bother to take your head out of your ass, you'd see we'd stop the whole goddamn thing! You watch yourself! Just a minute, Lux. Why didn't I know about this? Because Chief Lux doesn't have the guts to hear the truth from real cops. Damn. You are fired. Do you understand that? Don't overreact, Ted, please. You're fired. I want you out of here now. <laughs> you get your head out of your ass long enough? Kiss my ass? <laughs> you're getting more and more like me every day. Next thing you know, you're going to have afros. <laughs> dicks and all. Oh, she's just the same. Why don't you come with me? Your wife left you. Why don't you come hang out for a little while? I know a lot of girls that like to hang out with you. Maureen came back. Did she really? Congratulations. The man is a stud. We ain't even know it. All this time, swinging. We ain't even know it. <laughs> Why don't you take care of my um, uncle's house till he gets back? Hey, Axel. That's not really your uncle's house, no, is not. it? Oh, yeah. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was Beverly Hills Cop 2. Mm -hmm. Overall thoughts? I mean, great. Loved it. You know, Eddie Murphy, cop. It automatically gets, uh, you know, high rankings because there were, there were, there were, there were titties and also Eddie Murphy laugh. Like, I mean, that's a five out the bag, okay. you know? <laughs> All right. You have any uh, 
favorite scenes? Any favorite parts? Oh, honestly, it's so stupid, but <laughs> oh, Sydney, bitch! <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me <laughs> so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's just like, who is he talking to? <laughs> like, um, <clears throat> I've had a couple of jobs where I've just felt like answering the phone that way. I mean, uh, same, <laughs> absolutely. Sometimes it happens. I mean, yeah. Um, I lo <laughs> I loved when. <laughs> so they had just broken into the gun club or whatever, and they had. Uh, done something else and it, I mean like they knew that Axel was living in that house illegally they knew all of this shit but the one that seemed like it seemed like they were so like oh no that's not okay was like when he accepted the bribe oh yeah I'm like oh that's the tipping point <laughs> that's, the, that's too much that's the line you can't cross <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that. It was the wallet that I was like, uh... Oh, where he stole the wallet Yeah, off the, oh, yeah. I was like, you oh, that, the pickpocketing. That's too much. That's too much. Uh, oh, I'm, I love, uh, uh, Brigitte. She plays that, uh, scary femme fatale situation lady, uh, really well. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the hell the bad guy was. I don't think I've ever seen him before and if I have I'm just uh, he's been in a couple other movies okay. I can't think of off the top of my head though um uh yeah what about you what about your favorite sir oh I mean for me uh Billy stole the movie oh well yeah yeah <laughs> just his how they amped up his like personality Billy. traits we need to talk. We need to talk. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> yeah, uh, Judge Reinhold's great. He's uh, hilarious. I loved what they did with his character and how he played it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and also, I don't think you caught it at the time. It was kind of just a little, a little thing. But whenever uh, Axel first went into the gun club, he gave his alias as Richard James. I'm Rick James. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I was. I went to too deep i was like dick james I nah, nah. i was like um i thought you were going for like a richard cranium type thing but i think he just i think he just snuck that in as a little nod to rick i'm, I'm about it but yeah I, I enjoy it a lot uh it basically just took everything from the first movie and just built on it and like like in the first movie when he was uh when eddie axel was hustling his way into a suite at the uh, hotel mm -hmm. or when he, you know, he was Ramon. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, I, basically, they just took those bits where he's playing characters and just riffing and like hustling and getting in places and they just amplified yeah. that more and more. I was really hoping when he was dropping off the sound of that. <laughs> I thought, explosive. Yeah, I thought he was going to uh, rehash Ramon and I, I was, oof, I was hopeful. No. Um, but that was hilarious. He comes up with new characters. Yeah. The, the, got the wine. Monique and Unique. You know? <laughs> um, the, the wine. What year is this? Yes, I can tell. It's <laughs> just like, what the hell? <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what else? You, you, the captain of. Oh, no. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Like, I, I will say. I did, like. Uh, and I like all the little callbacks to things from the first one, mm -hmm. like uh, with Paul Reiser's character, you know. This is not my office. <laughs> this is not my office. <laughs> like the first one, it's not my locker. It's yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I think that they did a good job of balancing, like, the callback and, and everything. Um, well, if you had to say uh, which one would be your favorite so far, one or two? One. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, nothing against this one, obviously. I don't know. One just hit me. I think it, I think the I think the writing in the first one was a little better. And honestly, the I, I'm I'm a fan of simple story, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this one, the story, the the story of the criminals and what they were doing, it was a little more, I guess, convoluted. Um, yeah, the first one was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'm still not sure what exactly all was going on and how and I, I'm okay with that I know that it was just like 
gun running insurance scam slash bank robbery. You know, all the things. All the it was all the bad guy things rolled into one yeah. one bad guy thing. Um, but yeah, it was a little more convoluted, so I, I lost a little bit of like wait, what? Mm-hmm. Um and, and I was <laughs> I'm glad that they, like you said, amped up Billy's character. But I was yeah. also like, I genuinely had moments where I was like, Billy, are you okay? I mean, like, do we need to talk? All right. Well, if you had to rate this one, what would you give it? Uh, I mean, I'd say 7.8. Okay. Yeah, I'd give it seven and a half. Yeah. It's solid movie. Yeah. Rewatchable. Yeah, I was going to say, funny I'd bits. rewatch it, obviously. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think the first one is so far my favorite. Well, we might. I'm, I'm, it's kind of like with RoboCop. We might skip the third one. I feel comfortable skipping the third one mm-hmm. because it is, it's not as, I it mean, even Eddie Murphy said it was garbage. Oh, no. That's his quote when he was, because they talked about making the Beverly Hills Cop 4, and he said, uh, he's like, he, I, he wants to do it, but they have to get the story right. He's like, it can't be like Beverly Hills Cop 3. That movie was garbage. And it's like, yeah, it's him talking about his own movie. Okay. I'll just uh, uh, we'll, we'll just shift and focus on you know like the Lethal Weapon series. I, I'm understanding it's good all the way through, or at least what's what we gather. Yep, I won't say anything. We'll get there <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. Uh, but no, I like enjoyed it. Love me some Eddie yeah. Murphy. I'm I'm quickly becoming a big Judge Reinhold fan, uh, and. What's his name? Uh, Cox. Ronnie Cox. Ronnie Cox. Yeah. I like him. He plays both good and bad guys very well. It's almost like he's a good actor. I know. What is even <laughs> that about? It's whack. Oh, God. Speaking of whack, uh, the amount of rambling I'm doing is yep. whack. So. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Anything else? No. I think we covered it. Okay, guys. Well, you know as always thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging with us uh this one was one of our patreon poll winners and the full length reaction is available uh to our um patreon yeah it's up on patreon it's on our it's on our patreon so So if that's something you're interested in there'll be a link down in the description check that out okay well that's the only other thing which one do you guys prefer the first one or the second one uh yeah Uh, what are, what are your preferences? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but be nice about it. <laughs> I mean, you can't be wrong about which movie you prefer over That's the other. True. That's, That's true. That's no. true. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask which is better. I said, which do you prefer? Yeah, there we go. Clarification. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, uh, thank you again. If you don't mind, please leave us a like, uh, drop us a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And without further ado, we'll see you next time with another first time. Bye.